devotional that I wrote, and I know I haven't um, announced much about it, but I thought I would do that here today. It's taking me forever to finish, and I totally forgot about it until this summer, and then I finished it back up, and so now it's- Okay, so here's where you can find it. You can actually find it on my blog, which is faithfulteensblog.wordpress.com, and I actually have a tab just for it right here, Teen Topics and Tunes Devotional, and you can just scroll down, and I have the full page. So like I was saying, I have the full page and the Traveler's Notebook downloads, and um, I just have some information on here too about it and how to make the Traveler's Notebook, but if you just click on it, it'll download, and it's just a PDF version that you can... So in the download, it includes a title page, some stuff about me, and then I thought it'd be fun to do uh, your own a little bit about me and then put it in your Traveler's Notebook or just in your packet that you print out, and then it has five devotions... The devotions also include one or two questions at the, after the writing. So then at the top you have the title, you have a Bible verse, and then you have songs that relate to this topic somehow. So, and then there's like a little story or advice at the bottom. So once you have that printed out, I put mine as a Traveler's Notebook version. Otherwise you can just do the staple, the 8.5 by 11 sheets together, and it's just like a packet. But I did a Traveler's Notebook, and I made my cover... And I'll show you that in the next few. Cover, I just used a kind of a heavier patterned scrapbook paper. And then I just glued the title page on the front and added a few stickers here and there. And to bind it, I just used um, embroidery floss and tied that around the spine. So then throughout the book, I used my About Me at the front, but you can glue your About Me here and journal in it. And then I left a few pages in between each glue in section so that I have more room to journal. So, then I have already done one entry for the friends because I had a lot to say about this and I thought it would be a good demo for you. So I filled in my questions and then I just did some journaling on one side, wrote a par prayer here, and then wrote the Bible verse and journaled. So then here's just some, the flip through through the rest of it. Again, I <clears throat> um, added some extra pages in between so I had more room to journal or doodle or stuff like that. And, oh, I can't flip. There we go. So that was the entire notebook, but then at the back I just glued in the yay yeah, you finished it um, that I wrote. And then here's the back of my notebook. And then um, again I just bound it with some embroidery floss, which is like friendship bracelet string. And the last thing I have to say is that I'll be sharing more about this later, but I actually took my journal entry and stuff and put it in my Bible with the verse that was up here. So I will share more pictures about this and more information on my Instagram later. I hope you all really enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see pictures of what you do in your Bible or in the notebook or in your packet, whatever works best for you. And use the hashtag Teen Topics and Tunes so I can see your posts and tag me in them too. Enjoy. Okay guys, so I just got a uh, question about how I did the embro embroidery floss spine for my um, Teen Topics and Tunes notebook. So I'm in the process of doing my Revival Camp one, so I thought I'd show you on here how I used this. So I just have my embroidery floss here, and I cut an arm's length of the string. And then all you do is you find the middle of your notebook, and you stick it in the middle just to make sure it's even on both sides with the string. So once I have both sides here, I wrap it around once here, th back through the middle, and then just take it back around to the front. Make sure that the strings are on the spine. Com then all you do is take the ends of your string here, and you double knot it at the top. And make sure that the strings are still tight onto the spine. Sometimes it's easier to do it in your lap, so I'm going to do that and I'll show you when it's... So all I did was I stuck the actual book in between my legs so that I was able to pull these tight. So then I just have a double knot at the top, and then I'll just cut the strings when I'm done, and you have your bound book. And it's way easier than staple. And one more fun tip I have is that I got these charms at Michael's in the, like, 50 cent bins, and you can just add those to your spine and tie them on, and it adds a little bit to it, so it's a little bit more fun. I hope you guys liked this, and let me know if it helped.